it is with huge degree of sadness that we announce the death of the beloved Emmanuel Prevost Madi, also known as El Paso from Babano Castries. He passed away on Saturday, June 27, 2020, at 6.56 a.m. He was 65 years old. He was the sole proprietor of El Paso Marketing in Barbono. He leaves behind his sons, Emmanuel Vic Mudde Jr., employee of the French Embassy and family, Charlie Mudde and family of the United Kingdom, Hale Mudde and family of the United States, daughters Dimphia, Mandy Terry and family, Shandy Made and family, Calixta Made and family, all of the United States, Hannah Marshall, Shamin Made and family of the United Kingdom, Laurel Made and family of the Moon, Roselle Made, Mariel Made, Seidel Emmanuel, all of Hill 20 Babano, sisters Marie Made and family. Fernice Madé and family, Joycelyn Madé and family, adopted sister, Noraline Alexander and family, brothers, Theodore Madé and family, Joycelyn Madé and family, David Madé and family, other siblings in French Guyana, Martinique, Guadeloupe and France, 15 grandchildren, four great-grandchildren, best friend, Andre Lewis, owner of Lewis Industries and family. Special friends, Kurt Nelson and family of Talvin Babineau. Thaddeus Francois of Denry. Close friends, Pastor Naz George and family. Tony Dubley and family. Richard Jamari and family. Cuthbert Marshall and family. Jabatis Fanis, owner of Central Point Hardware. Mirpuri and family of Salemart, Barry Alexander and family of New York, Pastor Emmanuel Charles and family, Victor Le Corbinier and family, Ezekiel Joseph and family, Martin Kodra and family of Forrester, Morel Chamo, Everistus and Chris Jamari, Bertie Joseph and family, Michael James and family, Mr. Hassel and family, Michael Samuel and family, also left to mourn, the Prevost family of Piai, Labry and Soufre, many other relatives and friends too numerous to mention. The funeral service of the late Emmanuel Prevost Made, also known as El Paso, will be held at the Faith Baptist Church in Corinth, Rosalie, on Thursday, July 9, 2020, at 2.30 p.m., he will be interred at the Shock Cemetery. His body now lies at Rambali's Funeral Parlor, Calvary Road, Castries. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Please note, the family would like to inform extended family members, friends and well-wishers that in keeping with the Government of St. Lucia's protocol requirements due to COVID-19, social distancing regulations will be put in place and only a limited number of persons will be permitted to attend the funeral service. Also, due to the protocols established, the family will be mourning in private after the funeral service.